Hello, welcome to the Buena Vista Museum. Today we're going to be learning paper airplane science. My name is Desiree and I will show you the Nakamura lock. Today we're going to be learning paper airplane science. My name is Desiree and I will show you the Nakamura lock. Um, the first thing we need is a piece of paper. You can use any piece of paper that you have on hand. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fold our paper in half and we're going to create a nice crease. Then you're going to open your paper valley side up and we're going to fold the corners in so that way they touch the middle and it creates a nice arrow. You want to take your time with your folds so that way you make it even. That way we create enough balance for the plane to stay lifted. Next you want to take your arrow and you want to point it down. Give that a nice good crease. Next is time for the Nakamura lock. So, you want to take your tip and you want to fold it about an inch upwards. And then you want to fold it back down. And then we're going to bring our corners of the paper in, back into the middle. Make sure to get your creases really well. So you'll want it to look like this. And here is our Nakamura lock. We're going to take it and we're going to fold it back up over those piece of pa the, sh the papers that you folded. Next, we take our plane and we're going to fold it back down the middle. so that the paper locks here. And this is going to give your plane better structure and it's going to hold while it's in flight. Next, we wanna take the wings and we wanna fold them down. About like that. And it looks like we're almost ready to fly. Don't worry if you have to make some adjustments just know that when you make your adjustments, they need to be small. That way we can create a good lift. And there you have it. I think we're ready to fly. Aragami, named after the Japanese art of paper folding, otherwise known as airborne origami. Paper planes are just like real airplanes. They use the same four aerodynamic forces that allow them to stay in the air. First, you have your thrust. That's the moment that you throw your plane forward. Second, the lift, the force of the air on the wings of the plane that help it move upwards. Third, gravity, the force the plane combats to stay airborne. And then fourth, we have the drag, the force from the tail that slows the plane down. The four forces act on a plane in flight. When the plane flies horizontally at a steady speed, the lift from the wings balance the plane's weight and the thrust balances the drag. This creates a lift force greater than the plane's weight, which powers the plane higher into the sky. Thank you for watching our paper airplane science. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. 